Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I am Alyssa Morrow with Ray Palm Staging and I've got Sue Wilson over here. We're sorry we're a couple minutes late. We were having technical issues with our internet Go figure. Um, and I couldn't get my phone to actually go on live. Um, it just kept saying, oh, we're connecting, connecting, connecting. And then, you know, there was no connecting. It lies. It lies. It lies. So anyway, um, I just got back from the U-Haul in... U-Haul? Uh, U-Haul. Uh -huh. We've been dealing it up with U-Haul for the last That was years. yesterday, not today. <laughs> Actually, we still have to do that later today. Um, Nat Natalie says, baby is going down. That's right. It's nap time. going down. Nap time. <laughs> um, no, we were, I was at the Goodwill in San, on San Jose. And um, I got enough for today and next week, hopefully. Today, I thought, rather than show you everything that I bought, um, because it's getting a little crowded around here with all the new shipments that we've got, and I can't wait to show you the ad tonight, I thought it might be better to focus on a project okay. for this episode, and then next week I've got a couple other projects too from the thrift store, and it'll still basically work the same way. It's all been thrifted. We'll show you what we did, but rather than being a bunch of things that we don't get to um, and having it go in the back room where we have no time to finish it right now, it made more sense to kind of parse it out. It really is like you were planning this. I did. It's, it's like I planned amazing. it as we were it's at the So, okay. So here's my thoughts is... Apparently your thoughts are on lamps today. They are on lamps today. So I saw this lamp right here. And went, 70s beauty. And went, oh, must have. Um, it was $12.99. I had a 10% coupon because when you spend $20, you get a stamp. When you get 10 stamps, you get 10% off. Um, and I almost have a stamp every week, so um, or every other week anyway. So anyway, I use my stamp. Um, spent about $130 a day between what's here and what's still in my car. And uh, anyway, I really, really, really wanted this lamp because it's got so much detail on it that I thought it would be really lovely painted and then wet distressed. It'll be very nice. So I'm going to do this in vintage duck egg. And then... Um, I also like this one pretty much. This is $9.99, but I love these double these double light things. So this just has to pop. I need a little fix them. Oh, I think that just needs to pop back in there. But anyway, then they all come with their lampshades, and none of the lampshades. Uh, I have the video. That just I'm needs just to be looking at this thing. It needs to be tightened. Yeah, I think it just needs I'm, to be I'm a light lamp tightener. She is a lamp tightener. That's true. And they all seem to come home to my house. So um, you end up seeing lamps all over my house on the floor. I need to rewire a few. But anyway, and then I got these over here, and those over there I thought would be really pretty. Um, kind of, this one kind of reminded me of a small version of the leathery one I did before, and these I thought with the little crystals would be pretty as shabby chic. There are some missing crystals though, so we are might there? have to, we might have have to some finagle so. some of these things around. Okay, well we have some extra crystals, but anyway, um, I like them, and I mean I have extra crystals from other things, so you know, we can always swap those out, but they have the little circles, which is what's important because I can manage the rest. All right. So okay. do you want to give prices on these? What you pay for? So I paid nine ninety nine for this one, twelve ninety nine, nine ninety nine, or five ninety nine, and six ninety nine. Six ninety nine on those. And then um, I was checking out the lampshades because uh, I've been wanting to do some deconstructed lamps, and these are all the right shape. For them, what you want is you want to have the the like metal boning in them. Lots of boning. Lots of boning. The more the more boning, the better. And since I've got Sue with me today, and she loves to rip things apart. I am destruction. She is destruction. That's what I love about her. Um, I thought she might have a good time while I started painting all these lamps tear it up. to tear them up. Rip them apart. I might need me a garbage can over here. And then I thought maybe we would use some of the um, waxes that we have, all the pretty waxes, to wax the metal. Give them a color? And give them a little bit of a color. Ooh. And we I'm could gonna sell them up. We're going to zhuzh them up. Uh, and then we could sell the lamps and the lampshades separately, and people can mix and match. Good plan. And they can use the Edison type bulbs. I figured it was all going to go to staging, but you're going to sell these. I'm going to sell these. All right. All right. All right. Are you ready? I like it. I, I am. Perfect. I'm going to grab me. Uh, oh, this one just. Makes yeah, she just wants to do that one. Oh, you want to show off your shirt? Ooh. Want to see my shirt? All right. You might have to go up there. And this is available on the website. Got funky cold patina. 
just want to start singing now. Um, no, we do. Let's see. Who was I? Who was it that I had to play that for? Because I didn't know that Uncle Cold Medina was a thing. I not know that. Um, gosh, who was that? I can't remember who it was, but somebody I had to show, they're like, I don't get the joke. And I was like, you've never heard of Funky Cold Medina? And, and I had to play, it might have been Lily's husband. How, how do you, how do you live through the, well, maybe he, well, he lived through the night. Well, he, I mean, but he, like, he'd never seen, seen, um, Back to the Future or any of that. Before he got We need to save that one. I know. I don't know what Love the shirt. Thank you, Kelly. So you can purchase those on ravehomecollection.com. That is designed by Heather, who is one of the girls who works here. <laughs> she did a great job. She did a great job. <laughs> and it, the dresser, in case you're wondering, is one of Teresa's French provincials that she painted. <laughs> so that we all loved. Uh, sort of a bohemian. I didn't, I didn't realize that she was doing that based on. It was. It was, it was based on Teresa's dresser. So I am going to use Vintage Duck Egg by Dixie Belle on this. And of course, my Klingon brush. And I love Klingon brushes because they clean themselves, which is great because when I just went in the back room a couple minutes ago uh, to grab some supplies for out here, I noticed that uh, we have some brushes that we used, uh, I think, on our live on Friday, Friday that are sitting in water back there. Not washed. Because why? You have to actually wash them. Nobody wants to do that. And nobody wants to do that. And it's funny because it's I was... It's a quick little clean and then you stick them in water and then, and then it cleans all that right out the ferrule. Right, but those were not no Klingons. Crunchy brushes. But those weren't Klingons. They were other brands of brushes. Oh, so, strange brushes. Well, they were like the little brushes that I use, although I clean all my little brushes, but... They were more like the liner brushes and stuff. Oh, so you're saying we got used to these clean ones. We got used to these, and so now everybody is just sticking them in the back, um, which is actually kind of why we carry them. And it was funny because I was watching CC Caldwell last night on one of the Dixie Bell Lives. Um, I love her. She's amazing. She is amazing. Look her up. Not CC Caldwell. That's a brand. That's, 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 she's a stager. CC Restyled. <laughs> um, on Dixie Bell's uh, live, and um, anyway, she was talking about how all her brushes, like she just keeps grabbing a new brush because she doesn't like to wash her brushes. And I'm thinking, well, that's because that's why she should be using Klingon brushes because who can afford a new brush every time? Unless you're using cheapy ones. No, she wasn't. I mean, she she sells them, so she probably has like 15 brushes or 20 brushes that she just uses until, you know, they're all dirty. I heard Jamie Ray Vintage say that recently on a thing too, that that she just grabs a new brush. She, not a new brush, but like she just grabs a different brush every time until they're all dirty and she's forced to wash all of them. <laughs> and that's what's so nice about these brushes is that you don't have to do that. You just rinse them. You don't wash them. See, if it was just rinsing, that's easy. That's just like a minute. But washing takes forever. Um, so rather than do that, we just use the Klingons. We give them a rinse. We put them in their, I in their bucket. I don't washing a brush takes forever. I, I, maybe I just do it differently. I, I'm very quick, very methodical. I love that little brush cleaner. Make sure all my little things are clean and then stick it in the water. Well, yeah, the Klingons, it's fast. But if you're doing the non-Klingons... I can clean those real mm -hmm. quick. But you're not supposed to leave those in water. Well, yeah, that's true. And that's the problem. Because if otherwise, if you just I clean them fast, they don't need to go anymore. if you just clean them fast, then they end up stiff, typically. Anyway. Anyway. So she's, she probably, they probably can't see you with all these lampshades. I know, I'm, I'm very behind. Well, I'm going to eventually get rid of them, right? Well, yeah, but I thought maybe they'd want to see you working. Nobody wants to see me. Working. Oh, please. <laughs> Here we go again. Here we go again. Got to do this with Teresa. You know, you're really doing a good job of taking Teresa's place there. Right? Okay. Self-doubt and everything. Poor Teresa don't feel well today, so she, if yeah, you're awake and watching. She and you. Jessica are both out sick today. So, um, this, this day and age, we always get a little panicky about that. We do, we do. Uh, I'm told that... The, neither of them are running a fever, I'm Good told. Deal. So Teresa said she felt warm, which was immediately why she was sent home. But she said she's not running a fever, she just feels warm. Look at that wire. Look at that. That thing's so cool. Right? I like it. 
So we're gonna take them all down to this, and then I thought we'd add some metallic waxes, and then they'll be good. They'll be good with um, not metallic waxes, but well, they, they are all metallic, but they have different colors. And then I thought they'd be great with um, like the Edison type bulbs in them. I thought I'd save that because you yeah. never know you when never you need know a tassel. tassel. Tassels are, are so important in life. To whom I don't know, but they are. But when you know you find a great shape of lamp or something, it's fun to to actually make it new again. This is totally a 70s lamp and they had such great shapes back then. Um, shame we don't have the original shade. Although I it, love the lamp in my Although room. it would be a weird one with an Edison because it would be tall. Oh, that's true. It would be way tall. Um, there wouldn't be much structure to it. It wouldn't have had a lot of boning. It just would have been like a big balloon type of lamp. Get over there. Shade. So what are you doing today, people? No, person. Person? What are you doing today, person? Well, remember the <laughs> conversation? Yes. So we're being schooled by my husband who is doing research on on a social media live, social media live etiquette. I don't know. I'm just happy everybody that's out there is watching. Or maybe we're, we're happy the that there. you are watching. You specifically, you, not just the everybody. You. Yeah, um, we passed 600 subscribers on YouTube this week. I was oh, pretty bro, thrilled bro. about that. I noticed that last night when I logged in to, to watch your video. Getting up there in numbers is nice. We're getting a little better, getting a little better. Um, you all need to watch us on YouTube and like us and share us and all that good stuff. Would help a lot. Yep, absolutely would help a lot. And um, I don't think I posted it to our page yet today. I will later that today we released the white armoire video. So if you were in the store and you saw us working on that big white vintage, I should say oh, antique armoire. That big beauty. It, um, the Beauty and the Beast one. Uh, I posted that video start to finish when it came in basically well i didn't take a video of when it first came in and it didn't even have the front legs but um i posted it from the time that i got it here after our maker had put the front two legs on it and um, nick all did a good job. nick did a good job and then all of the um, molding taken off of it and then how i remolded all the pieces on it oh that thing that thing was a mess it was in pieces and parts but gosh, it's beautiful. The it inside really is beautiful. beautiful. We have so many comments from people coming in the store looking at it going, is that for sale? Is that for sale? Oh yeah, everybody was like, yeah. I'm like, no, this is a custom. But after that, I'm not sure I'm doing many more customs, to be honest. I don't have time for customs. They just don't. It shocked me when you took it on as a custom. Well, it was such a unique piece. I, I really wanted to do it. Overall, it was fun to work on, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun to work on, and I knew it would be good video, which is, you know, kind of important too, because we're trying to grow the YouTube channel, and it was, it would be interesting. It'd be more than just, you know, just a regular painting something. Dust in these things. I'm sure there is a lot of dust in these things. What's How are you liking my lamp so far? It's good color. Vintage duck egg. Vintage duck egg. John's not here, so he can be quiet. <laughs> Probably chime in. He's home working. I think he's supposed to be on a conference call. Oh, good. So he won't be bothering us during the show today. No harassment. So yesterday, last night, Sue and I got back from Thar near Tennessee. That's what I like to call it. That's a drive and a half. And it was rainy. Oh, yeah. Sue drove the truck most of the time. That's when I usually get to sleep, but I didn't get to sleep this time because we bought so much we had to rent a U-Haul. We couldn't just bring my truck and they could pre-order most of it. Um, but then I got there and they were unloading a new truck and I was like, ooh, what's not spoken for yet? How much can I buy? <laughs> what more can we add? What more can we add? And we literally pretty much 
packed every square inch of the truck that I could. So this weekend and next weekend, because it will not all get out today, um, well, actually probably none of it will get out here today. So I don't know how much of it will get here this weekend at all. Um, but this weekend we have a whole bunch of new stuff because right before we left, we got a new shipment, a couple new shipments yeah. and the girls and Jake, uh, our new employee, Teresa's son, they've been here the last couple days getting it all out on the floor. Oh, so the store looks fabulous. If you haven't been in this the past week, you need to come in again. Well, and even if you have, because all this stuff is new it, on the it's floor. It's all new. It's all changed. Um, we've gotten out almost all of our holiday decorations that have come oh, in. Oh, it, it looks like Christmas after. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And uh, so that's a lot of fun. And I walk, it's so nice. You know, I used to own a different store and I used to be frustrated all the time because I would go in, it would make one of the main reasons I sold the store actually. Um, I would go in and the staff there, they, they were not good at merchandising. I tried to hire good merchandisers and that just, oh. Anyway, the, I would come in and everything was always a mess and I'd end up having to stay late like every night working until like midnight trying to get the floor to look good for the weekend and then okay. then something would sell and the store you know they would just take all that stuff and just randomly put it out and so it was like it never looked good and i was spending infinitely too much time working on the floor and not working on the business and so on this one sorry and so it's really nice to come in here and see all the amazing merchandising that um, Anna, Heather, and Jake did yeah, the last few days. Talented staff for sure. Really nice. Um, they work hard, man. They work very hard today. Yeah, they worked hard all this week, getting everything looking really good. Uh, I had a little tiny finial here too. I got to paint. Oh really? It was a little tiny skinny finial. It goes to this guy. Oh, it's probably buried under these lampshades over here. Probably. So, has anybody else started their fall decorating or are we still not in that mood yet? Hi, Cassie. Say hi to the boys. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Jean Luc. Decorating for the fall? For the fall. Ugh. Much decorating. I don't think Elton would recognize me if I said hi to him so he probably would this is what I want to sing if is Cassie is Jean-Luc awake oh no don't start singing yeah is Jean-Luc <laughs> awake is she answering I don't know you got it wrong you gotta give it a minute time delay and all I know I gotta learn to work with time delay so Sing to the grandbabies. That's right, sing to the grandbabies. Oh, these things are messy. <laughs> I'm liking this. They're, they're both napping right now. Oh, um, you've got a break right now. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense for me to sing the Witch Doctor song then. Probably not. You have to save that for another day. Another day, another day. Destruction, 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 destruction. <laughs> Trying to even do a little chain pull here. <laughs> Very nice. Very messy doing it this way. It's painting, it's supposed to be messy. At least that's what I've learned. <laughs> Certainly if you follow Teresa and I, it's supposed to be messy. So rather than, you never buy lamps that have the right size shade. And so like in the stores, especially like the thrift stores, I mean, you do if you're buying them new typically, but they're always all mixed up at the thrift store. So I thought maybe it'd be good if we just had like a lampshade area and a lamp area and, you know, obviously near each other and let, let people choose how they want to do it. Or they could choose a regular shade if they don't like the the decon look. Do we have regular shades? No, but I mean, there's lots of places that sell regular ones. I guess that's true. Target, Target's a good place for shades. 
Yeah, Target's probably my favorite place for shades. Well, it's dust in my face, so mm -hmm. a big puff of it every time I rip. Yeah. And who's not proud of the fact that I didn't just automatically start off with painting everything white? Well, Which was my initial instinct, to be honest. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of white lately, so it's nice to see a little color. Even if that color is duck egg. Okay, it's a pretty color. It is. Some people might not appreciate it. John. So I really, when I was at Goodwill, was trying to find something. We just got in all of our JRV stencils. Oh, we want a stencil something. And I really, really, really wanted something to stencil. But I just couldn't find it. I just couldn't find anything that I liked. You could put I'm a with. stencil around the base of that. I mean, maybe, but it's a lot of room on there. Um, but it, I don't know. I just wasn't happy with like the choices for that, so I went in a different direction. But they had a bunch of candlesticks and finials and things like that. But I just didn't figure that. All right. I wanted to watch it that. Looks again. like I'm going to be taking up a new hobby on repairs. Glue removal? Oh, soldering. Soldering. They're a little loose on this one. I got, I got what, two. Two are hanging on tight. The other a couple need some soldering. So that should be easy enough. I have a soldering gun. When I was a kid, I watched my dad do it, so it can't be that really great. I have a soldering gun. Do you? I don't know if I've ever once used it, but. Lampshades would make a neat ceiling feature. That's probably true, Cassie. dangerous around here? The wheels are going to go. Next thing I know, I'm climbing up ladders. That's right. What are you trying to do to me? What are you trying to do to me? Hang them upside down in there so the bulbs are going down. Yeah. And they're just hanging from the ceiling with lights yeah. on them. You could do that. Get those little Ikea hanging ones. Yeah. Like the way you're thinking there, Cassie. Like the way you're thinking. Sue might not. I mean, she might like it now, but she might not like it later. The one that's got to go up and down ladders, so. <laughs> the older I get, the more I'm a little apprehensive about ladders. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, make me work. Yeah, thank you, Cassie. Can you hand me that one? Do I look like somebody that wants to work? You Here's know her well enough to know that that's not. Unless there's food around, she will work for food. I do work for food. She will work for food. And I will destroy things and not consider it much. Yeah, if there's food involved, she's down with that. For whatever reason, this lampshade has written on it, Fiji. Hmm. Does that mean I get to go to Fiji? Is that a prize? I don't think so. Oh, man. I really would like to go to Fiji. So when Jessica started working for us as a new rave employee, I took her out on the job. I thought she should, she was, she was hired originally in sales and I thought it was important for her to learn the whole business, the process and all of that so that she would be able to sell it to our customers and know the difference between us and other staging companies. Good so plan. yeah, so I uh, took her out and I had her help us with a staging job. She's like, well, I don't really know much about decorating. I'm not very good at it. And I'm like, that's okay. And so I sent her up. First lesson, staging isn't decorating. Yes. And so I'm like, I'm not gonna give you anything hard. So I sent her upstairs with a box of lamps. And she comes back downstairs and she's got, she's got this with the lampshade on it basically like this but with the lampshade on it and she's like 
I don't know how this goes on the lamp. She's never done that before? No. Whoa. And I said, well, you take the harp and you squeeze it. And she's like, the heart? <laughs> the harp. It's the heart and soul of the lamp. So she thought they were a lamp hearts. So when she said she really didn't know much about it, she wasn't kidding. She wasn't kidding. And yet she's still with us. And she's, and she's learning. Because she was excellent in sales. She is excellent in sales. She's pretty darn good with the HR stuff and the day yep, to day yep, yep. And She's very talented. And it takes all kinds of different talents to run a good company. Yes, it do. She has different talents, them. different personalities. Throw me something that needs to get stripped down. Oh, that's such a nice one. Look how pretty that is. Mm. That's an expensive lampshade right there. It's all nasty and dusty and dirty. Well, dusty and dirty can be dealt with. No, we're just going to reconstruct it. <sighs> Did anybody work on any projects? Do you have anything you'd like to, to show us? I haven't seen anybody's work. You've been getting it, but I don't want to see it. Oh, that's true. You and Teresa hung up on somebody's pictures. Uh, that could be. That, that could be true. It's funny that some of these didn't have any tags on them, and I'd ask questions, and then some of these have like five tags. <laughs> this lamp was definitely $5.99. All the millions of tags on it say so. In case you were in doubt, just flip it around. You know, I started thinking the other day about people stealing from places like Goodwill and thrift stores. Mm -hmm. It's like, would you really prosecute somebody who stole from a thrift store? I mean, they get all their stuff for free. It's donated. And you go there because you can't afford regular stores. Well, I mean, that's not entirely true. I go there and, and I can afford regular stores. You go there to save all the things that are out there needing a little attention. Yeah. And then does that make me a bad person because I'm taking from... I was hoping you weren't going to make me feel bad about that. No, I don't think it, that you're helping the, the charity that they're helping. And isn't that the point of a thrift store? They're supposed to be charitable? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I didn't realize people stole a lot from those groups. Well, if they do it a lot, I don't has that been in the news or something? No, it was just a thought I had one day. It's like that episode from Big Bang Theory where the girls went to donate clothes and then they were like, these boots, oh, yeah. these jeans. We're just a little, get a little. We're just exchanging items. Right. Now they've got so many different online. Well, Kelly, interesting. What? Kelly says you'd be surprised at how many people steal from thrift stores. It's crazy. And then they sell it. Well, I mean, I guess. I guess there's all kinds of people who steal. And... I don't know. I generally try to think of most people as being honest people. Me too. So. But unless things like that happen. Yeah. And it makes me wonder. I mean, if it's a donated item, I mean, I can't imagine you should prosecute them. Give them a stern talking to them. Give them what they need. If they're stealing because they're in need, or if they're well, stealing yeah, because they're they stealing they're resell, resell it, then it's kind of like those people on the side of the, the freeway off ramps that are telling you that they're homeless and need money, and then they 
go get in a big old expensive car and drive away later on. Seen a few of those. It makes me not want to give money to people who are really in need, because then you got to start wondering. And then is it my place to wonder? So then I go back to the, if I'm doing a good deed, I'm doing a good deed. If they're doing evil, they're doing evil. I really like how this lamp is coming out. Anybody else feeling it? Definitely looks better in that color, other than that weird, funky, <laughs> leathery. Cassie wants to know if anyone else is enjoying watching Sue struggle with that lampshade. You noticed that, did you? Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. But you know what? Because we're live, she's not cursing. So I'm going to call that a win. For you, it's a win. For me, it's a win. Under my breath? Well. But I am not hearing you're under the breath right now. So I'm calling it a win. <laughs> this girl needs some anger management classes. Yes, I do have my moments. 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 How many times a day would you say those moments happen? Probably twice. An hour? A day? A week? <laughs> <laughs> that might be the funniest thing I've ever heard. Right, right. So how about that new couch Let's see. There's a guy at my local Mar Walmart with really nice creases pressed into his shirt to hold a sign that says he's homeless. And I always wonder where he plugs in his iron. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and yes, Cassie, I am wrestling with lampshades. Get my workout for the day. Somebody's got to do it. So there's a little tiny crack right here that I didn't notice in the shade. So in the shade or, the, or, or the in the base. So what I'm actually going to do. That can be fixed. Yeah, is I'm going to go back on with some Bondo later. And then I'll paint over it. Um, so it'll blend right in and you won't be able to see it. But I'm just letting you know, in case you see it, that I see it there and I'm not going to sell it like that. I will go in and repair it. Repairs are easy enough. Or I'll have somebody else repair it, but it'll get repaired. Unfortunately, I don't have a Zeb. <laughs> not a team. What are you talking about? You've got a very capable team of, of people working for you. I have a very capable team. I'll tell you, they've all got their talents. It's wonderful. All right, this one's pretty gummy. I don't know what we're gonna need to do to get some of this super heavy, thick glue off. Probably a good uh, sanding. Sanding the glue? And maybe the heat gun. Mm. Okay. How are we doing on time? Yeah, pretty good, I'm sure. Oh, there's one behind me. Uh, let's see here. It is, I can't see what time it is. It's not on there. No worries. We're at, uh, according to this, two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly confident we've been on for two minutes. We haven't been on for two minutes, have we? I'm not Otherwise, good. I'm doing really good turn music part. I'm not good with time, but I feel confident it's been longer than that. Goo gun. Goo gun sometimes works for me on things like that. I go ahead and start putting the second coat on these. Probably won't get those today, but sweet maybe. How are you liking the idea of painting the lamps? What do you think about it? Would you paint a lamp? If you had a lamp that you liked, good shape, good bones. I guess lamp is furniture just like anything else. Yeah. In my bedroom, I have um, and I'm starting to do a makeover series on my house. I've started doing some of the tours. Um, in my bedroom, I have a lampshade, or I have lamps that I really need different lampshades, I think. Um, but they are, gosh, they're probably from the 50s? Or like earlier than that, you think? Uh, no, probably from the 50s, late 50s, I would think. They're 
They're blue, they're like a balloon gloss. Um, they're three ways, so they have where you can light the, the, the balloon part, um, you can light the light, or you can light them both. They're beautiful. But I painted the brass because I didn't like, I didn't like the brass. And so I painted those with white, and then I put uh, some champagne metallic over it, so they're they're sort of shimmery-ish, which I love. They look really cool. I just don't really like the lampshade. I don't feel like the lampshade is a good is a good selection, but it's really hard to find a lampshade that I wanted for that. So I keep I keep on the lookout when I'm out lampshade shopping to see if to see if I find anything I really like. Looks like the, the lamp in my room is a, a little squatty 70s pot looking thing with this giant conical lampshade on it. I absolutely love it. Except the lampshade doesn't need to be cleaned or something. I don't know yeah, we need to, I don't think you can. I think we need to redo the lampshade. You need to figure out how to, and that could be a video and a half, how to remake the lampshade. Kelly, if you decide to paint that lamp, you need to get before and after pictures and give us a yeah, show on that. Absolutely. One. Because if it's a lamp you absolutely hate, you gotta get rid of it anyway. So you might as well try and make it something you like. Where is the end of this thing? Well, in our staging, we have quite a few like brass lamps that we've that have been repainted. Yes. And they look great. I don't know about you, but I'm not a super fan of brass lamps. Brass was big way back when. Why you want to keep these for I kind of do a little bit. I feel like you're going to do something weird with those. Well, howdy. Hello. 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 It's our fabulous team walking behind the scenes here. Woo. What do you guys think of the lamps? Oh, they look much nicer now. Like, is that Dixie uh, Bell's vintage okay? Yes, of course. Nice. I love that color. Dixie Bell's my new favorite. Are you, oh, you're deconstructing. I'm they're, like, they're like my children. I can't pick my favorite. That's so, <laughs> that deconstructed lampshade is so much harder than I look. It is. <laughs> Nobody told me it was going to be hard. I thought, oh, great. I can tear something up. Oh, yeah, it is. Things. It's like done around the bottom. So much blue. All right, we're going back to our channel. All right, have fun. Okay. And since these are deconstructed, I'm trying to paint even like the socket areas so you'll, you'll see those, just not obviously inside. So you won't see that ugly gold or always thinking you are. And it shouldn't make any difference in the functionality of it. And it really doesn't matter that it's paper. You know? Because you can paint paper, believe it or not. No. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. If I sneeze, I'm sorry. I'm so excited to go over to the warehouse later and see all the stuff I bought because we didn't, like I ordered it, but we didn't actually get to see it because it was all wrapped up. So I had to order it from photographs and I bought their furniture before. So, I mean, I kind of know what most of it looks like. So I was super comfortable with it, but I don't know. It's really fun to see it all in person. It really is. I have no idea. So for me, it's all, all a surprise except for your rocking zebra. <gasps> yes. She got a rocking zebra. Which is like a rocking horse, except for it's a zebra. And it's so cute. It really is adorable. I'm going to put a big red bow around its neck. Or it doesn't have to be red, but a big bow around its neck. Might be like a burlap ribbon. Uh, ribbon. And uh, put him in front of a Christmas tree in the center window for a window display. So he's going to be a window display piece. But he will be for sale. So if you have somebody that needs a rocking zebra. We will have one. We will have one. It's got that beautiful vintage look. Yeah. It's not vintage, it's a reproduction. 
Um, so, you know, I want to be straight up there. I do have a vintage um, a gliding horse, horse yes. downstairs. Um, he does have a bit of a don't really want to sell him price tag on him. I am willing to part with him, but only at the right, you know, number. Because I'm pretty sure he's like early 1900s, maybe oh, even easily. early. Oh, he's, he's even probably early 1900s. He's, he's an oldie. Uh, he's missing his mane and his tail. And yeah, all the, all the horse hair came out of it. But it's gorgeous. Um, so he's on display downstairs. And then if you look in the, probably the same window that... I know it's the same window now, and I'll probably keep it in the same window um, that I'm going to put the rocking zebra on. You can see that I have a, um, a, a vintage, I guess an antique. It's not vintage, it's antique. Um, William and Mary David. That thing goes way back. Beautiful bed. And you can see that it still has the original uh, square nails and stuff in it. Yeah, it's got the original nails. It's all. Uh, it's been re-rushed. It's got yeah. It's been re-rushed, even though it's it's looking a little faded. But the rushing on that, the it looks really good. So. Yeah, it's been re-rushed. It's clearly not the original rush. Or if it is, it's in great shape. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way that's original rushing. And if it was redone, it was redone a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not fresh re-rushing, but. Definitely um, antique not. Antique re-rushing. Yeah. Well. And, and I will say it was done very well, very professionally, in something that was appropriate for the piece, not just like DIY rushing. That's a piece I've been trying to get on, uh, uh, what's the, uh... Like Sotheby's or something. Yes. We, like, need to, legit, we need to, like... Antiques take... Roadshow. I, I, I tried to apply on Antiques Roadshow with that thing. They didn't want to take me because the, the Antiques Roadshow was in Orlando and they thought it would be too far to pick it up. I don't want that. I'll bring it. I we'll bring it. Yeah, we'll bring it. But they say if they like a piece, they'll, they'll pay to ship it and everything. Or just throw it in the van. Totally would. I'd, honestly, I'd rather keep my eyeballs on it anyway, to be completely honest. All right, I'm going to start wet distressing this piece. I think I think I'm gonna move this one out of the way. Get some of that glue off. Scissors. Mm -hmm. Scissors and snatch some. I mean, don't you think these are kind of just like cool frames? Add a little uh, gilding paste or whatever to them. Yeah. I think so. This one reminds me of a top hat. <laughs> you got two more behind. I don't know. I do, and I got some on the floor behind me, and just a little bit everywhere. China. This one's got, uh, got a quiet audience today. We do. Last week I feel like we had, or Monday maybe it was, I don't know. I, all, everything was in the blending together. I feel like we really had some chatty people on here. Chatty people were on our Sunday surprise. That's that was fun. Sunday surprise was, was a good day. Sunday surprise was a good day. Gonna have to do that again just because we gotta gotta figure out our system. Uh, our Wi-Fi here is definitely what's slowing up our system and delays and sound. Yeah, and Ethan's gonna come and give us a a permanent plug-in over there for the Ethernet and uh, stuff like that. Trying to improve things so you don't have to suffer with us at home. <laughs> That's right. We make the mistakes so you don't have to. That is our job. And believe me, if there's a mistake to be made, hand it to me. I'll show you how not to do things. But we love you anyway, Susie. So That's right. I can be taught. Eventually. Maybe not computers very well. No, let's... <laughs> remember that cursing thing I was talking about? Anger management? Uh, that's definitely computer related sure. So I'm going to give Dixie Bell high marks on wet distress if it's still slightly damp. It does look like it's coming along pretty good. Oh, 
Oh, uh, all the new transfers shipped. So if you've been following Prima and seeing all the new transfers that have come out, then you've probably seen uh, some really beautiful patterns. We got all of them. Ooh. And they all shipped this morning. So hopefully they'll be here by Monday at the latest. I'll try to add those online in the next couple days. Um, but if you see one online that you want, just let me know and we can put one aside for you. Um, so when they come in, I did try to order a bunch of each. Um, and I'm excited because I ordered enough of two different patterns. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. And I ordered enough of two different patterns to go ahead and paint that china cabinet behind us. Oh, finally. That thing takes a lot of shit. So we're going to use it as wallpaper on the back of the china cabinet. Um, there's one with cranes. I'm hoping I ordered enough of that one because I think that might be the one I really want. That's the one you've been talking about since you got this thing. No, that was a different one. Is it? Um, that one is still on back order. Oh, holy cow. So I've given up on that one and moved to a different one. All right. Well, that's crazy, so. Anyways, take, take in the scissors and I just... Basically cutting the, the glue the off. off. Yeah. It's just scraping it right down. Nice. It's old yellow crusty glue. Yay. Yellow glue, isn't that the one that they make on horses? <laughs> distressing this one. I'm gonna let it dry here a minute and then I will bring it up for you to see. I'm loving how it came out. I like how that gold shines through. It's pretty. It feels very sort of shabby chic. Yeah. It will find a home. I love, love it. Love all the detail the way it pops now. I know it's funny, you try to do these great thorough coats to make sure everything is coated properly, and then you come by and wipe it all off. It's kind of funny. It's a little funny. And I haven't selected top coat, but because I want these to look sort of old, I'm going to use flat out flat. Again, it has that wax look and feel. Um, very matte. It's going to show vintagey really nicely. Gonna help. I'm just asking what we're shine. doing with the lampshades after stripping them down. Um, we're gonna add. Do we have any that are? I guess that one, the one smaller one, the newer one, I could do, right? Which one? That one. Yeah. Let's definitely have to tighten that a little bit. Let me finish distressing this one, and I'll get some wax and show you. Yeah, they're gonna stay they're gonna stay deconstructed yeah they're gonna stay deconstructed we're gonna add a little color to the metal a little colored wax give it a little character this one's got some funky tweak like somebody dropped it that's all right character right that's right you probably want me to get all the glue off of this one if that's the one you're looking at well, you know see what you can do i was looking for one that didn't have much glue this one's got more of the rubbery glue Comes off pretty easy. I'll show up my lamp over here real quick then. Look at this one. Finish distressing. Have you ever cleaned a shade that had a stain? No. I have one I tried cleaning, but now it looks spotted. See, I've been wondering about that for our staging because a lot of our lamps have gotten dirty with all the moves going in and out of houses. And I'm wondering if like, um, OxyClean. If I spray it with OxyClean, will that clean it or will that just leave spots? I have a feeling it's going to leave spots, but I don't know for sure. I've been afraid to try it. But my gut says it's going to leave spots. Did you try any OxyClean? I always say OxyClean works wonders, so I don't know. Okay. So this is clearly going to need like an Edison type bulb. 
but look how cool this looks. And then I think with like an Edison type bulb on there. Can you picture it? Yeah. And you're gonna you're gonna paint a color or a wax color on, on that? I'm uh, thinking more metallic maybe than metallic? Okay, okay. Trying to see your vision, woman. We all know that's difficult. It really is. And I'm not as creative as some, so I have a really hard time with it. We all know that it's difficult to see my vision sometimes. I am. And you can kind of see how this one's coming out. Oh, I only have one coat on here so far, but isn't it coming out pretty? Okay, so I'm gonna use the Eterna Wax by Prima. I'm trying, I'm Focus. scraping and scraping. Just let me have a little take one of these that you already saw. We don't have much of And warning that they use a lot of glue when they make a lampshade, that's for sure. I'll try to dope here so you guys can see. Okay, so um, this is the glue. Not glue, the the paste, the gilding paste. And so literally I just dip my finger in there and I can rub it on here. And just like this is gold, I can turn this whole thing gold like this just by doing that. And I've got copper and silver in all different colors. So I can actually make them shiny so that these weird parts or the, the gold harps don't look wrong. I can actually make it all nice and shiny Again, just like that. So that it'll look like that's the whole thing was that color meant to be that way. Getting all clever with it. It's like I have a plan. I always say you have a plan. It's just hard to believe that you do. <laughs> Becky, I see that you were on there for a second. I don't know if you're still on there, but um, I will try to tag you on Facebook maybe on this piece that I just got in the other day and it made me think of Iris. And thinking of Iris made me think of you. So um, I was thinking that if you saw it, you would really appreciate it because of her. Oh. So. Iris was my aunt, Becky is my cousin. And uh, my aunt passed away a couple years ago. And obviously she was real close with her mom. So um, it's a um, it's a Lazy Susan with a beautiful iris on it. Beautiful purple iris. And I think it even says iris on it. <laughs> because it's like done like a seed packet. Oh, okay. they're not made to be used the way that we use them i mean we use them on lamps but the way we move them around and stuff they're not there's, they're not. there's no good way to transport lampshades you get a stack of them you gotta get, get them from point a to point b it's just not easy oh this one's easy ah, i like this one so 
this is the one that we said Sue needed a solder, so don't pay attention to the fact that it's floppy. We'll fix that. Um, but let's see what a difference the uh, the gilding paste made. Now the whole thing is a pretty bright, shiny gold. And it will look really nice with the gold coming out and the gold harp. Somewhere around here, I think I do have some bolts for it. Yeah, I think there's some. Oh, that one's just a, that one's gonna be cute with the scallops. This, this is awesome that it's, <laughs> all lamps should be wrapped like this. No glue, except for to add the trim. Just over and over and over, over and over. And over. And Need about it. I ain't saving this stuff. All right, guys. What are you thinking? What did you think about our our little process today for our furniture thrift? So, um, I guess the one thing that we haven't covered is what we're going to charge for these, right? Yeah. What would you charge for something like this? So, a lampshade. If you buy them in the store, about this size right, is about 20 bucks. Um, obviously they have shades on them though and we're not going to have shades. I mean, all we're gonna have is the metal and they will be zhuzhed up a little bit with the metallic wax. I feel like I need to save all of this and create a, a little uh, mummy. <laughs> it's almost Halloween. Um, I'm thinking that the lamps will go for, the lamps themselves, the bases here, will go for probably about 20 to 25 bucks each, depending on, like this bigger one will definitely be more like a $24.95 or $27.95 kind of thing. And the shades, the deconstructed shades, I'm thinking about, probably about $5.95 each. This one has a nice white undertone to it, so it's gonna take your My building very, nice. very nicely. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So, you know, you could have a really nice, lamp for about 30 bucks. Can yeah. wash it in the sink with a little bit of wool light? Huh. I'll we'll have to try that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm afraid because sometimes the underside is like like paper. Yeah. I don't know. But paper dries, I mean. But it also warps a bit, doesn't it? Well, yeah. I mean, that's the problem when you get the lamps from you know, home goods or whatever. And your home goods and curtains. You can never have enough lamps. That is true for a staging company, for sure. None of us ever know how to store them or move them. They or get broken too easily. They get unpaired with their with shades. The We've tried your animals. We've tried everything. <laughs> labeling all the bases and the lampshades because the bottom is new and we knew what they were and uh, it works. everybody takes what they want and then everybody's got a different idea of what size lampshade to put on the lamp and sometimes they just look way too small for my opinion or big or too big sometimes you have like these little tiny lamps with a giant shape like this and it's not like they're big pot round like an MCM like they're they're weird and wacky. Oh. All right, guys, I think we're probably really close to time here. Are we? I, have no I feel idea. like, I feel like it's minutes. been an hour. It still says two minutes. It on still says two minutes. I feel like for sure it's it's been it's been more than two minutes, for sure. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. Pretty getting getting better at this. Getting better at this. Getting to know the time. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. And if you haven't popped over to our YouTube channel to check out the Arma video, be sure you do that because that was probably the prettiest piece I've ever worked on and I had a blast doing it. And I took you from start to finish 100% um, through that process. And uh, we have some other videos coming out this week. And uh, we will see you back on Friday where we are doing Fab Furniture Friday. Uh, Teresa should be here then for that. She just wasn't feeling well today. And um, with, you know, times as they are, we're not taking any chances True. on anybody who's not feeling well. We just immediately tell them not to come in or send them home. 
So uh, she Seems should like be back. Fair thing to do. Yeah, she should be back, and uh, we will see you back then. And too. come Friday, I'll still be here ripping up these lampshades because they're taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here. I thought I gave her the easy job. All right, guys. Thanks Bye, so much. Bye. Bye.